All right, guys, welcome back for our next lesson, how to use the path array tool. Um, this lesson is going to require you to open up uh, our drawing from the last lesson, which was the offset tool. Once it's open, you should have a similar drawing on your screen as I have on mine. So we're going to get started, type in array path in the command line, press enter. It wants us to select the objects. In this case, the one we're going to be copying is the circle. So we'll left click on it and then right click to accept that. Now it wants us to select the path curve. So that's going to be the center line curve. Uh, well, as soon as this pops up, for me, you may not have to do this. I'm going to click base point, click to the center of my circle, and you'll notice these circles then align themselves with the center line. Uh, there's a couple things here you'll see. Here's a big gap, small gap. I'm going to clean that up by dividing it into equal parts. So you'll notice they're all nice and evenly spaced. Uh, I cannot stress this enough. The best way to use this is not to simply copy uh, what we're going through here. It's going to be to do it, learn learn the different tools, but then use them um, for you know in your own your own way, modify them how you see fit. So. We can drop this down to 10, you'll notice a few less, wider gap, or we can change it up to 40, and we get a pretty cool shape here, interlocked circles. Um, there's just a whole lot you can do. Again, if you do what I'm doing, then I'm going to limit you. Uh, you really need to use these tools and play with them, change them, modify them. And uh, make them your own and, and really truly learn them and share with us uh, some of your creations. All right, that's it for the Pathway tool. Thank you.